in this video, we're going to go through an example of using the Blybox AI coding agent through the web ID. In this case, the user doesn't need to download or install anything locally. They can just simply send tasks to the Blybox AI coding agent entirely through their browser. And it would be the same capabilities and performance that they would get locally on their IDE that they're using. So here we're, we have opened a remote uh, device that the user has access to. And we're starting with a broad task. We can give it any task from scratch. We can give it tasks on specific repos that we want the, the agent to work on. But in this case, we have a simple task, a broad, a broad one. So the prompt is clone the Dropbox uh, website. So here we start by initially getting an analysis, looking at the environment details. I see that uh, we need to go through the content from the URL, get the header with the navigation, the hero section, there's multiple feature sections. There's company logos, footer sections. So here, what you also notice is that the black box agent is able to spin up a browser agent uh, that it can use to get access to how the website is looking in real time. So it's gonna, I'll visit Dropbox website to get a complete understanding of the design layout, then create a comprehensive plan. So it's able to see everything and I can see this shows the Dropbox dash. It's analyzing each step of the website. And here we can at the same time scroll through This is the website, how it is right now. So we're gonna take a look. It's doing the same thing. I can see the collaboration, okay, yep. Security never comes second. So this is the section that it was checking now. Now it's looking at some of the companies that use Dropbox over here. So in a few seconds, it would have analyzed the entire website and it will be able to begin implementing the exact clone of the Dropbox web app. So now it's reaching the footer section. And while it's finalizing this step, you can, you can notice on the web ID here, the user has access to all the core features that they would want. In addition to leveraging the Blybox AI coding agent, they have the terminals, they have ports, default console, output, the file explorer, searching across the entire code that is here, the source control, so now it finished. Now that I have a complete understanding, let me create a comprehensive plan for cloning the website. <laughs> so 
So it's going to take a few seconds and it's going to come up with a detailed plan so that it can fully implement. There, there we have the plan right now. Dropbox homepage flown, concise implementation plan, build semantic HTML structure, implement CSS reset, style responsive layout, integrate Dropbox assets. Please confirm. We're going to confirm. And the agent will begin the implementation based on the plan that we agreed on. We can edit the plan, we can modify it, we can tell it to customize this version of the clone if we wanted to clone it in a certain way uh, with different types of assets. We can all provide this through the chat and the agent will, will be customizing it to the instructions that we are giving it. So here's doing the proper implementation. We can see the overall layout being generated right here. The developer is able to monitor it in real time, see the exact code changes. What is the agent currently doing? And if the user wants to make some edits while the agent is making these changes, we can simply cancel, make modifications, then resume. So there is full control on whenever the agent is fully implementing something, the user has the ability to intervene and make the changes that they want and then resume back on the same track that the agent was going. So it's now finalizing the footer implementation. And by looking at it, we can see that it's effectively taking the same content that was on the website and doing a complete replica of it. And now that the layout is done, it's going to just go through some styling step to give it the exact same styling as the original website. And once this is done, the agent will provide us with the public link so that we can visit this website and test it for ourselves. And you will see in a few seconds, once it's done with the styling implementation, not only can we visit it ourselves, but also the agent will spin up again a browser agent and will go through a series of tests so that it can take the feedback based on what it, what the browser is showing it and do the full correction if there's any changes that are needed, either errors or uh, some enhancements and optimizations that it is able to compare relative to the initial instruction. So we're able to see how the styling now is being generated. And there's also a mobile responsiveness integrated into the implementation. So now it's doing the style of the features section. This is the style for the security section in the website. There was this segment here. And then the logos in the Swiss FN.
And any project that is worked on through this web IDE will always be saved and can be revisited, can be continued on. And you have the full code that is always through the through your Blybox account saved for you. So you can continue working on it, improving on, improving it all through the browser. Okay, so now the main styling is fully implemented. Now let me create a JavaScript file to add interactivity. So this is gonna be the part for interactivity on the website. Smooth scrolling, header scroll effect, call to action button tracking. And what you can do from here, once the clone is generated, specifically let's take this task as an example, is you can fully continue on uh, if you want to add to it a completely implemented backend, uh, add to it a database, authentication, payment system through Stripe, analytics tool to make this entire app fully uh, implemented with all the different tools that you wanted to have. So you can also do this and continue on what you have initially created here. So now it's going to give us the public link so that we can visit it and see it here. So we're going to open it in the browser. And as you can see, the styling is the assets are the same. The styling is the same. The images are exactly coming from here. We have the security section. We have the industries that are using Dropbox. And we have the footer section. So the entire website is fully similar. So we can see these assets. So here we have this first one, this one, this one as well. People working together. So all, all the styling, all the images are here. The industries that are using it thrive, discover, learn, thrive with Dropbox over here. And the entire footer section is also over here. So now what you'll notice is that the agent is doing its own testing. So without us asking it to do so, it decides to initiate also a browser agent so that it can cross check anything relative to the, to the initial instruction. Did it fully implement it? Was there anything that was missing? If there's any errors, it's going to be able to correct them. So uh, you'll be able to see the agent go through the, its own series of tests and uh, excellent. So it's able to analyze each section, how it was implemented. And this is a, an overview of using the black box coding agent directly from the browser without installing anything locally on your device, the same performance, same capabilities, and you can keep iterating on these projects that you have them, uh, in your, in your account entirely through the web.